Hey folks, Patrick here with Sovereign Empowerment, and we've got a great clip for you today. In case you've missed our earlier videos, Gavin introduced you to Stuart, who used to work as an enforcement agent. This was a great interview where Stuart revealed some eye-opening facts about all the fraud that's out there and how you can protect yourself and your property from the unscrupulous actions of these enforcement agencies all claiming to operate under authority. If you missed it, make sure you take a look at it after this one. Later in another video, we were excited to announce that Stuart has joined the Sovereign Empowerment Movement so that based on his experiences as an enforcement agent, he can now offer his guidance to you to help you beat them at their own game. So today he's going to offer you his five best tips for dealing with enforcement agents should you ever find yourself in that position, as well as what you should do to prepare in anticipation of any contact with them moving forward. Remember this folks, there's always hope no matter how bleak your situation might seem. And as the steward's going to review or, and has revealed, it's all a fraud. <clears throat> anyway, he'll be ready to offer you any one-on-one -on -one guidance you might need uh, if you take a look at this uh, quick video. So with no further ado, let's dig in. Hello everybody and welcome to Sovereign Empowerment. Uh, my name is Stuart and for those that you have seen the videos before you'll recognize me uh, from doing a couple of interviews with Gavin. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I've come on board to Sovereign Empowerment as an ex-enforcement agent. Um, and today I'm going to be just doing a short video on uh, some tips to help you guys out who are facing uh, people knocking at your door, uh, demanding payment for something or other, whatever that case may be. Um, as part of the Sovereign Empowerment team now, uh, I am available for one-to-one -one, uh, chats um, to discuss your case, um, for want of a better term, uh, to guide you through and try and help you uh, sort of navigate it. I know having people knock at your door uh, is not a pleasant thing um, and that's what I'm here to do, I'm here to help. So without further ado, I'll start my list off. So number one, um, this is the main thing that I can say is try and stay as calm and as focused as you possibly can. Now, <clears throat> I understand a small proportion of people will get caught off guard with people knocking at the door and demanding payment for something. But nine times out of ten, all you guys will know that something is coming. Don't get stressed out about it. Take a few deep breaths if that door knock does come and compose yourself, think things through. Look at what you've got and the position that you're in and stay strong. I know it's easier said than done, but the main thing is not to get overworked, or sorry, worked up about things and just try and keep everything on a nice level as much as you possibly can for step two if you do get that door knock don't answer the door if you're in your property and you are at the door and you can see who's knocking on it whether you can see through a spy hole or through the window or uh, a ring camera or something like that don't answer the door. Let them post whatever they want through the letterbox. It doesn't matter. And as an addition to that, in the meantime, secure your property as best as you can. Extra deadbolts on your door. Uh, maglocks, if you're feeling a bit flush and you can afford that sort of thing. We'll try and secure your property as best as you can. Now, if you're caught unawares and you're outside, 
of your property and they end up like sort of catching you off guard <laughs> go back to step one and stay calm and just go back into your property to step three if they do catch you out in say your garden or getting out of your car or something like that you don't have to converse with them you don't have to give them anything they can ask all the questions they want what they should be doing is saying I am such and such here is my ID card with their details on it and then ask for the person they are looking for now if they ask you and you say I'm not going to talk about it or I don't know who that person is just walk off and go back into your house you don't need to give them anything use the data protection law to your advantage that is the best thing that you could do because if they start discussing things about a case that they have where they are looking for a person and they start divulging information they are breaking the law if they cannot confirm with you in person you are who you say you are or the person they are looking for then there's not much they can do about it shut down the conversation you don't need to talk to them that on to point four if you do start to lose control and you start to lose that calmness and focus and things start getting heated do not by any means get in a physical altercation you do that and you lose all advantage because that's when the police get involved and when the police get involved nine times out of ten the enforcement guys are gonna they're gonna win they're gonna get what they want so do not get into any physical confrontation antagonistic behavior or anything like that because that's what they will try and do they will try and antagonize you do not rise to it and my final point point number five do your own research look things up look at things like the data protection law contract law um, do your research on the court system back yourself up with as much knowledge as you possibly can especially when it comes to things like council tax because that is one of the biggest frauds going in this country and has been going for centuries and it's all fraudulent back yourself with knowledge knowledge is power as the saying goes and that will really help you the more knowledge you have the calmer you will stay in these situations because you'll have that stuff to back you up and that is the best thing that you can do for yourself now I know time is precious and it's not easy for everybody to do these sort of things to make time to do a lot of research but there are things out there there's groups on Facebook telegram um, the videos on software empowerment read up watch them take notes look into a few bits and pieces and just use that as a, as a base to build your knowledge on and just take it from there as as I say for me that's it's only a short video today um, if you have any questions please leave uh, a comment uh, below uh, I'll try and answer any questions um, also I believe there will be the booking link uh, that will be uh, put into the link description and um, share this video around uh, to help people out and thank you very much for watching